Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this beam by finding out the support reaction. So here we see there is a simply supported beam which is supported by hinge support here at point A and roller support at point B. So we can see here there is uniformly distributed load of 4 kN per meter distributed over a length of 5 over the length of 3 meter. The 2 meter length here and here are, are without any load. So we have to find out the support reactions at these two points. So support reaction RA and RB are unknown to us. We have to find out the support reaction. So we can see here is a hinge support so it will take the vertical load and also it will take the horizontal load but in this case the horizontal load is equal to zero because there is no horizontal or inclined load acting on this beam. So the roller support can only take the vertical load so it will be represented by RB. So we have to find out this RA and RB. How to find it? There are different ways so we will use the equilibrium equation here because it is a determinant beam so we will use the equilibrium equation by summation of moment at any point equal to zero and let's suppose that we are taking this point A so moment summation of moment at point A equal to zero. Also we are assuming that the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So now we will start here from the right side here at, from B point. So this force RB is acting in upward direction and it will produce some moment about point A here like in this way in anti-clockwise direction. So it will be taken as negative because our assumption says that the anti-clockwise moment is negative so it will be minus RB multiplying it with the moment term because moment is equal to the force into moment arm. So force is RB, the moment arm is the perpendicular distance from B point from the load where it acting to the point where you want to find out the moment. So this low, this distance is 2 meter plus 3 meter plus 2 meter. So the total is 7 meter. Then again the load that creates a moment about point A is this 4 kN per meter. So it will be positive because this load is acting in downward direction and creates a moment about point A in clockwise direction. So it will be positive. And how we can find it? 4 kN is the distributed load multiplying it with the distributed length because it is distributed over the length of 3 meter. So 4 into 3 multiplying it with the moment arm. So what is the moment arm? Now this load will act at the center of this uniformly distributed this point. So the distance will be half of this 3 meter plus 2 meter. So the half of this is 1.5 meter here from this point up to this point it will be 1.5 meter because 3 divided by 2 is 1.5 meter and then this distance is 2 meter. So the total is from this point up to A point is 3.5 meter. So here is 3.5 meter. Summation of all the forces are moments at point A equal to 0. So now if we shift this value into the right side, then it will become positive. So 7 RB. And if you multiply this value, so we will get here 42. Now dividing 7 here, 42 divided by 7. So we get here 6 kN. So the RB value here at this point is 6 kN. Now we have to find out RA. So we can also use summation of moment at any point equal to 0 or summation of moment at point B equal to 0 or we can use summation of vertical forces equal to 0. So in this case summation of vertical forces equal to 0. So we will take the, pos the upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative is our sign assumption. So the upward forces are RA and RB here. So RA plus RB they are positive because they are acting in upward direction. The negative force here is 4 kN which is acting in downward direction. We see here it is distributed load so we will see minus 4 multiply it with the 3 meter because the distributed length is 3 meter here. We see here this length is 3 meter so 3 equal to 0. Now these are all the forces acting on the beam. So now we will shift the R B into the right side so it will become 
fifth minus Rb. So we know that Rb value is here. Rb is 6 kN. So we'll put 6 here. So Ra comes out to be 6 kN. 12 minus 6 is 6 kN. So here we got Ra equal to 6 kN. So in this way, we find out the two support reaction here, 6 kN Ra and Rb also equal to 6 kN. So this is the way how to find out the support reaction by doing some equilibrium equation by using equilibrium equation summation of moment at point A equal to 0 or point B equal to 0 and also using this equation summation of vertical forces equal to 0. I hope that you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily 7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.